welcome back to beauty by tanya so today's video i am going to be reviewing the new huda beauty desert dust palette you guys i'm so in love with this packaging you guys yes yeah, so i picked this palette up monday when it came out in sephora so yeah this palette retails for 65 dollars yes it's on the pricey side so you guys will find out is it worth it is it worth that 65 dollars or not you guys will find out at the end of this video but this is the packaging you guys this is super cute how cute is this y'all like she looks so freaking cute and stunning like she just look her makeup like oh the packaging looks like this as you can see whoever made her packaging just did a thing you guys like they really went all out for this palette you guys so once you open it you will get a protector which i thought was super neat that she had a protector like this with her eyes on it you guys so when you open up the palette you guys you get all of these beautiful beautiful colors not to mention she put a mirror in this you guys for 65 dollars she better have put a mirror in here like she came through with this palette y'all when i tell you so these are all the shades you guys you can do so many looks with this palette she has some duo chrome she has a topper she has some toppers she has some pressed glitter she has sapphire colors she, oh my gosh she just have everything you could ever need she has some matte colors she just have it all you guys and not to mention she has the names under the shadow who doesn't love when a palette includes the name on the palette like it's just it's just only right it's just only right it's so frustrating trying to figure out a shade name when you're going this place that place or trying to find the cover of the box or something i'm just i just love that she did this all right for 65 dollars you get 19 shades you get it all in this palette i think she did really good with the packaging as far as the mirror and putting the names on the shadow i'm gonna give you guys at the end my thoughts and my feelings on the actual shadows and how they applied so did a tutorial on this look for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoy it don't forget to thumbs up this video so if you guys are interested in seeing how i got this look and also my thoughts and my feelings on this palette then continue to watch first thing i'm gonna do is prime my lids y'all I'm going to prime my lids. I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready. And now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Mossier. And I'm just going to set it. The reason why I set after I conceal my eyelids because it helps the eyeshadow glad on. There's so many shades to choose from in this palette, you guys. I just don't know what to go for. So I'm just going to go in my crease with amber. So let's just do amber. It's very tempting. All right, so I'm just going to put amber into my crease, you guys. And I'm starting off with amber. On pretty nicely. Whoa! I went really heavy-handed that time, y'all. This palette is super duper pigmented, y'all. Like, please make sure you dust off the excess. Um, it gives me a little bit of fallout if you can see it a little bit, but nothing too major. But yeah, so it's it's blending pretty good. Like I'm not mad at it. Okay. So continue to just blend that. But we're gonna make it work. Because we're not doing this over. It's already nighttime. 
I'm, I'm really not doing this over, so. I'm gonna blend this bad Billy out. Ow. I'm gonna blend, blend. So I'm already loving the pigmentation. I'm just loving it all, you guys. I'm just loving this already. The first shade, Amber, glad on really well. So the next color I'm going to go into is Oud. This pretty dark brown chocolatey color. And this is I'm going to use this just to deepen up the crease even more. And you guys, I don't know what look I'm going for, so I'm just using as many shades as I can. It's really deepening up the crease more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm-hmm. You better get it, girl. The lid, I don't even know what to do. It's just like so many options. I'm like, what to do, what to do. I have a press glitter. I have, oh my gosh, some toppers. I have duo chromes. Like, oh my goodness. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the concealer on my lid because it got like lost. And I want to be able to see um, the lid color. So I'm just going to put that so I'm just gonna put that all over my eye well all over my lid and just yeah Bring some more of my concealer because it kind of got lost in the south kind of got lost in the south kind of got lost in the south hey See, this is why it takes me so long to get ready because I'm always like listening to music if I'm doing a voiceover, you guys. I just put some more concealer on my lid so I can see the true intensity of these eyeshadows. I think I want to use Turkish Delight. Um, using my flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my lid. So let's see how this bad boy lay. Oh! All right, so, ooh, come on, Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight, ooh. And as you can see, I got a little bit of fallout, but I'm going to take my brush and swipe that away really fast. Just a little fallout, not nothing made. Oh, my goodness. We're exaggerating, y'all. Like, this is so super freaking cute look at that y'all look just look Like that, I was just stunned. Oh my God. Like, this color is gorgeous. Like, woo. Woo, 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 woo. This is what you call an eyeshadow. Pigment, oh my God, it's off the chart. So I'm gonna go in with the color Cashmere. I'm gonna actually apply this like towards my inner corner so make sure you tap off the excess because 
This shade has a lot of fallout. And I don't mind fallouts, you guys. Like, I really don't. If the pigment is there and the eyeshadow look good, I don't care about a fallout. I can clean it up afterwards. Just gonna take this brush right here just to kind of blend it in. Some of the shades have a lot of fallout, but just clean it up. It's not a big issue to me. Um, to each his own, but to me, I don't really have an issue with it. So I'm curious to use a topper. They're supposed to make the eyeshadows um, over top of each other look good, complement each other. So I'm going to Celestial, and this is a, one of their toppers, and I'm just going to put that um over the first lid color i laid down and they said to use your finger apply it with your finger so i'm just i'm just gonna use my finger you guys and i'm just gonna put it oh this made it even brighter like it's it gave it like a little highlight But I'm noticing a lot of the brands are like telling you to use your finger to apply um, some of the shadows because of the pigmentation. I'm kind of liking it because it gives me more of a vibrant look instead of using a brush. So, hmm, not too bad. So for my last shade, I think I'm going to go ahead with that Glitter Cosmo. Ooh. And it's kind of fragile, you guys. So be careful. Be, be careful. Oh. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. Not at wool. Not at wool, baby. So I'm actually now is going to just add um, this sapphire color to the bottom of my waterline. Take this brush right here and I'm going to smudge that bad boy out. This is giving me life like you guys. Oh. It's giving me like this runway look, believe it or not. So, yeah. So, my thoughts and my feelings on the new Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. You guys, I'm in love. Like, let's just say that. I'm in love with this palette. Like, she came through. Like, Huda, I see you, girl. Like, you did your thing um like i said at the beginning the package is really 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 nice um the eyeshadows they applied so nicely they complemented each other really really well like um i placed two of the colors on top of each other i used a topper color it's just vibrant up the look. It just made the eyeshadow even more pigmented. Gave it like a highlight. Wasn't pigmented the first time I um put it on my eyes for my first shade when I went in with amber. But I noticed that it's a buildable. It's very buildable. So that's still a plus. She gave us some matte. She gave us some shimmer. She gave us. She just gave us so much in this one little palette. Like you can do so many looks with this palette basically when i was applying the shadows they glide on really really well that was a plus um i did experience a little fallout in some of my shades um the pressed pigment hold up well i just don't see how she did that like 
I'm, I'm just like curious about that. All right, so I did see a lot of mixed reviews about this palette. A lot of people was comparing this palette to the Subculture palette by Anastasia, saying that it was patchy, saying it, the pigmentation was just, it was a lot of fallout. They were saying a lot of things, but I wanted to test this palette out myself and I absolutely love it. Being that I don't get a PR package, meaning I spend my own money on this so I can give you guys my honest review and I will recommend this yes it's $65 but this is a great palette that you can do so much with this palette like I this is really worth the $65 and you get a mirror and they have the name right here so yeah I really do recommend this palette so overall my thoughts and my feelings I would give Huda a thumbs up so Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to comment, to like, subscribe if you want to see more of me reviewing all the new things that comes out. I will be reviewing the new is makeup that comes out and giving you guys my honest opinion about it. So make sure you thumbs it up so I know that you guys are interested in seeing this. And yeah, so I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.